Welcome everyone to the next episode of Five Minutes to Manufacturing Insights. Today, we will be discussing a powerful dynamic digital twin simulation software from Rockwell called Emulate 3D as part of the digital thread. My guest today is Jeff Alperovich, who is a mechatronic solution consultant with Rockwell Automation. How's it going, Jeff? It's going great, Chris. Thanks for having me. I'm always excited to chat about awesome technology. Emulate 3D is a powerful tool for any equipment supplier or industrial manufacturer and can be integrated in different ways into anyone's digital engineering work stream. So Jeff, what is Emulate 3D and how can it be utilized during the concepting or bidding phase as part of a project? I'm glad you asked. Emulate 3D can be used as a simulation tool to help develop concepts, design systems, and understand product flow. There is no limit to the scale of what can be simulated, whether it's a single process, machine, cell, or fully scoped system. The software makes it easy to link objects together to develop the solution and even run experiments within the software to optimize the solution. Once you've got a simulation, regardless of the complexity, it can be leveraged as part of the bid process to clearly demonstrate a concept to both technical and non-technical stakeholders. This makes it easy for everyone to understand what's being proposed and even easier to collaborate on the project when you can clearly see how the final solution might look and flow. The beauty of the simulation and demonstration capability is that you don't even have to have the precise details of each process figured out or modeled. They can be represented to a high degree of accuracy with the configurable and flexible black box objects within Emulate 3D. I could definitely see how this could translate into optimal success for the equipment supplier that is quoting a project and also the end customer who is trying to optimize the best solution during the bidding phase. Let's say now the project is ongoing. How does Emulate 3D fit into the engineering work stream and also reduce commissioning time? From there, Chris, the models that have already been developed become the backbone for the dynamic digital twin. The dynamic digital twin presentation of the solution at one moment in time, but rather one that lives and breathes with the project. Now that the process is modeled in Emulate 3D, it can be leveraged for controls code development and testing. Controls engineers don't have to wait until a machine is built to be able to understand how their code is going to drive the process. The programmable automation controller of choice can be connected directly to Emulate 3D to drive all of the components in the model, the same as they would be driven in the built out system. What this means is that long before any time is spent on the build of a system, the functionality of that process can be verified to reduce the amount of physical prototyping required from the build. On top of that, and what becomes one of the biggest time savers of Emulate 3D, is that you're developing your final controls code to run that digital twin. Once you have your final build complete, you've already got the controls ready to go. Your commissioning time is significantly minimized with the bulk of your testing complete before any equipment is installed. I can really see how this software can bring the digital thread to life on a project in so many ways. Does the power of Emulate 3D stop there, Jeff? No, there's more that companies can do to leverage this model even further. The model can be converted and leveraged in virtual reality, something that Emulate 3D already natively supports. This provides a few big benefits to machine builders and end users alike. When designing a new process with operator interactions, the machine designer can have an operator interact with the system to make sure it's properly designed to accommodate the real interaction. This again, reduces the amount of potential prototypes necessary. On top of that, Machine builders can then provide operator training as a service or a differentiating value to their end customers. It's often not possible to run systems at full speed until long after initial startup. And in any case, there are raw material costs associated with testing. Virtual reality training and testing allows companies to run at full speed with no material costs to train operators more effectively. This is huge too for the end customer of the system with the potential to have operators trained at minimal cost to be ready to roll once the system is installed. Wow, Jeff, that is so much power in a single software platform. What is the best next step our customers can take to learn more about Emulate 3D? Emulate 3D is just a piece, albeit a very large piece of the whole digital thread landscape. There are so many aspects to consider and not every customer's path is going to look the same. That being said, whether you're looking to improve the way you design and sell systems, commission them, train operators, or any combination of the things we've talked about here, please contact your local Rockwell representative to schedule an in-depth discussion on how Emulate 3D can impact your business and your digital thread story. You can also check out the Rockwell Automation website for more information about the product. 
There will also be some links in the bio here. Thanks everyone for joining and have a great day.